Earlier I mentioned that the um, Cleveland Cavaliers had a uh, pretty significant draft themselves um, in the 2020 uh, NBA draft. They drafted um, Auburn Tigers uh, small forward power forward um, Isaac Okuro fifth overall. Um, I place this as an interesting pick because uh, one of their uh, starting guards, I believe they're, sh they're number two, honestly he's can he play number one, uh, is uh, Colin Sexton who's a um, going into his third year in the NBA. He's a um, star player from uh, Alabama, so now you have an Alabama Crimson Tide uh, player and an Auburn Tigers player starting for the um, Cavaliers. But um, I like the Cavaliers pick uh, for this multiple reasons. Uh, Okuro is an absolute uh, playmaker on defense. He's just one of the strongest um, defensive players in this draft. Um, I think he can play a little bit of a two-way uh power four, small four there, depending on what package you need him for. He's a great scorer. He's not one that's going to be um, creating his own shots like kind of Kevin Durant and uh, Kawhi Leonard do, but he's going to be a player that can make some really consistent shots. He has a high uh, shooting volume. I believe it's uh, around, okay, he's got a 51% uh, field goal percentage. That's really good for a, uh, a forward who can play small and uh, power. Um, but I think that it's going to be a very interesting scenario having uh, him play the uh, likely to play the three, while Kevin Love is going to be their uh, number four. He's going to be the star player um, as he averaged about 17.6 points per game uh, last year, nine almost 10 rebounds last year. Uh, Colin Sexton is going to be the guy that's going to help create multiple scenarios uh, for Love and for Akuro and for Dr Andre Drummond to score consistently. Um, I think that this, these three, these four, are going to be dynamic playmakers for the uh, Cavaliers. Um, Okuro is not the most dynamic scorer, like I said, but he's he has a high IQ uh, shooting um, shooting volume, and he can just score whenever he he knows he needs to. So that's that's great for the uh, Cavaliers to do. I think with the roster they have now, I don't know if they're going to keep Kevin Love or trade him, but if they do keep him, he's going to be a great asset to these two young players and to Drummond, who has been underappreciated for the Detroit Pistons. He's only played eight games for the Cavaliers, but these four, along with um, Dennis Garland, who's the uh, power point guard, you could say, they're going to be they're going to be a scary team in the East. I think they may come up with some wins, and you give them a couple more seasons, they're going to create some serious problems in the uh, in the East.